massive problem in the UK. There's not enough tradespeople, whether you're a tiler, plasterer, chippy, sparky. Kids aren't naturally thinking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a, a brickie. Yeah, you know, there's mucky. And there's not a lot of mucky in the vans going on. Not enough people willing to get their hands mucky. If it's not addressed now, it's going to be a massive problem. So we've got to just give them that option. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a reality. And see if we can get some kids interested. Champion were in Newcastle. I was engaged to a Geordie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been here loads. I've been here loads, yeah. Uh, champion. That one's a champion. <laughs> she was a good lass, though. I didn't know there was a swimming pool in the middle of Newcastle City Centre. I didn't. Well, yeah, that's where we are. The city pool. The Geordie swimming baths. I think this original building here was here in 1823. And then they bolted the other swimming pool on the other side in the 1930s. Anyway, someone's about there. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? If it was your house, you'd be over the moon, yeah. It's nice. Big old spot. It needs a bit of work doing. It needs a bit of water in the swimming pool, to be honest, mate. <laughs> so... Well, this is the building of it. Awesome cart. Good bit of steelwork. Cranes. Chimneys in the background. A bit of scaffolding. Yeah. What a great environment to have a gym. What a great place. There's lots of gyms and lots of fitness facilities in the U your country where you go and you think, it's just another gym. You come in here, who wouldn't want to swim in there? Who wouldn't want to come in a gym in here? Who wouldn't, you know, it's just, it's an experience. Came onto the market and we see it, we spoke to the council, we said we wanted to restore the building and luckily we were successful in getting the 125 year lease. So we're talking about the skills gap and how we can improve it. Well, we've got 125 years worth of work here that people can work on. It's just sort of hard, isn't it, to, you know, to drag kids away from bloody Facebook and <laughs> yeah, bloody like, Xboxes yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that sort of caper, seeing the fruits of your labour, you know, that's what I'm sort of into is, you know, I'm build, you know, building stuff and getting the job satisfaction from building stuff and it's just trying to get that passion across to kids. At the moment, we've done about 35 projects, 220 kids, and yeah, what it does, yeah. it gets them interested and then hopefully the idea is they follow that path or they could even come and work with Fusion. The only way you're going to get buildings like this to survive is by bringing young ones through and getting them to do the work. Great place to bring some kids. You come here and you think, well, this is what the job is like. There's a massive skills gap in this country. It's, it's across the board. It's a massive hit to get kids to go, wanting to go into construction now. Once they've got the skill set, then they'll carry it on and, they'll, and it'll roll on from there. First job, I'm going to do a bit of tiling. I'm going to do a bit of tiling. In what will be the cafe, I think. What was the posh word he had? Eatery. That was the word. Eatery. These are the tiles you're using. Quite a nice tile, actually. But tiling over tiles. With buildings like this, you start taking these off. You're taking the plaster off the walls. You're taking bricks out as well. You're just making a massive job for yourself. A batten's a two one piece of wood. Use it to get a nice straight level. Get them on a spirit level, make sure they're square, and then set the tiles off that. And then if your first one's right, if you stick to it, your last one will be right. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can start in a corner if it's a nice straight corner, or you can start centered in the wall. It's mostly down to personal preference. Right, are we ready to go then? Oh, yeah, we're ready to start mixing up. Nice and gently. Mix the gobble up, get it down so it's not too thick, not too thin. Hang on, stop. Chuck it at the wall, scrape it on. If you work your way, say three tiles out. Yeah. And then go up two tiles, then okay. three tiles out, up two tiles. But well, you just gotta keep on top, make sure everything's in line, get your little pegs in, make sure everything's square all the time. Yeah. What do you think we're looking like, mate? I think we're looking very good. Callum's a brilliant lad, absolutely fantastic. God, this is one old place. This is like me nan's age or something, I'm telling you. Really well up for it. Wants to learn the trade, wants to get stuck in. Give me ten of them every day. I would have him every day. And he'd, he'd work his socks off for you. Nakro's a charity. It's an organisation that helps re-engage learners who might not necessarily have had the best of upbringings or the best of opportunities at school. School wasn't the best, so it's because I was always getting in trouble, getting into fights, getting in arguments all the time, daft little bits of things, which, like, could have been avoided. 
I didn't have the best childhood sleep. I was in the care system. I had some losses in that, and it was really hard for us. I've seen a massive difference in Callum over the last six months. Since then, he's absolutely been flying with me. Being hands-on, I just love working with me hand. But if you put us behind, like, an office, I'd probably cry. Everyone's good at something. you just got to find out what it is. There is a skill shortage in the northeast of bricklayers, joiners, tailors, plasterers, etc. But to be given an opportunity where they can do some real life work and to complete something and see it stand for a long time, that's excellent. What did you end up in a care home for? Oh, I was going down the wrong path in life. I what? So I was causing trouble, taking drugs. What sort of like drugs was you on? Cannabis and cocaine. I've never done any of that. Coke. Stay off it all. Oh, horrible. Said he's been in rum, lads, but he's on a straight and narrow now. Um, I like genuinely, I believe me not. It is hard work, but I love doing it. You do? I found some of what I really like enjoying now. Um... You do? You get a bit of job satisfaction from it? I like, like looking at it, the like, yeah. final product, and be like, I've done I that. did that and it looked quality. Well, he's got plans, he's got plans, I like his plans. He wants to earn a lot of money, set up his own business, start employing people, because he's got a few mates in the clink and he said, he said, no one wants to employ them, so he wants to employ them. And I thought, yeah, fair play. New one's going to be like, ooh, they've come out, they might have changed. New one's like that. Do you reckon that's them written off for life? They're then? written off for life. But if you give someone a trade, and that's a actually trade, giving them a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. Even if it is just lay tiling or, or brick it's, Look, it's yeah, still mate, a trade. It's a trade, mate. It's a skill. Hey? After we put the tiles up, um, yeah, we thought we'd go and have a look at the um, this wooden flooring upstairs, which is going to be the spinning room. Park your floor. Yeah, I'm getting one me. Get one installed in me house. We went up there with all the gear, with the dust mass. But the plan was um, strip the floor, sand it off, brush it down, varnish it, jobs a pitch. We started with the plan of the little sand around the outside. Nothing was happening fast. We weren't expecting the amount of varnish that was on it, <laughs> to be honest. So we got the big, heavy, juicy sanders out. <laughs> Doing the likes of a ordinary wooden floor, um, planks or something like that, you'll go with the grain, because it's, it's easier to sand with the grain rather than against it. But because it's parquet and it's offset all the time, you just have to go with it and sand it as best as you can. We were meant to sand all, all the floor down so it made it look all nice, and then we would repaint it, but physically, I don't think there was enough time in history. You've got to do it properly to, to get it looking right. If you try and rush it, you're going to mess it up. And the bit that was coming up was coming up great. It'll look even better once it's all finished. This is the real world, and it's the real world. We're not trying to... Um, here's one we made earlier. There's not that going on, because it didn't happen. Went back in after we worked out the floor wasn't going to get done any time soon. The guy and the kids took all the spaces out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, she was going to be um, going to be a furniture builder. What's the plan? Is, is you finished school or? Um, doing my level two in joinery. She's been at college for a year. She's just starting a second year. Yeah, in um, yeah carpentry, I suppose. And there's no lasses. There's no lasses on her course. What's the plan to come, become a cabinet maker? Yeah, like make furniture and repair stuff. Working with my hands, making something. This is definitely fun. Good lass. Paul showed us around the grouting job. Getting a decent amount of grout on your trowel. And then, yeah, grout it properly with a, like the spatula thing. Then wet it off with um, a damp sponge, which it'll all dry and then they'll put the finishing touches to it tomorrow. At the end of the day, when they see the end product and they're proud of what they've done, it's, it makes me proud. Looks brilliant. Made the winning. Considering no one's ever done tiling before. Never done tiling. Fantastic job. And I right enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. The kids have got an extra skill which they've picked up. So they absolutely fantastic day. It's been a really, really, really good experience and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Hopefully we've struck gold. Um, hopefully. Only time will tell. These kids want to go into construction, which is brilliant. They will get into the industry. It's going to be a massive bonus and a massive build for the industry. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've got some out of it. I've got some skills. Ah, oh, great, great. So I'm going to go tell the <laughs> house now. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs>